Hey guys, we're going to focus in this section of the manual on applying sealants to a set of crankcases. And we are going to take the time to show a couple different methods, but I just wanted to show something here. A lot of people, you know, if you're not reading the service manual like a checklist here, okay, they're pretty specific. Look at what they say. With the right crank cast resting uh, on the cam cover flange, apply a build, uh, bead of sealant approximately 56 thousandths or metric 1.42 millimeters wide to the split line face. For best results, use this sealant. Okay, so I'm saying it's the only one, they're saying for best results. And then if you look down here, okay, we're going to come back to this. This is going to be the procedure that we're going to torque and the pattern we're going to use. I've taken and just used a piece of scratch paper and just duplicated that because I kind of like to be done with the service manual and put it out of the way. You'll notice on my scratch paper here I have torques, Loctites, references to page numbers, this kind of stuff I do. Just grab the information and then uh, uh, move on with it. Make sense? Yep. Okay, so with that in mind, well, here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show a couple different ways to apply sealant. Yeah, just use a piece of scratch paper here. So we saw that, that Harley said we could be 056 thousandths thick, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an example here. I'm going to take a caliper. I'm going to set it to 56 thousandths. How many times have you guys ever taken a motor apart and you just saw silicone just everywhere? You know, all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint a picture to what this really looks like or what we're talking about here when they say to do this. So if you, if you see here, 56 thousandths, okay. that's not very wide, is it? This is the area that we're going to apply that sealant, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just take a look and see how wide this is. Okay, about a quarter of an inch. Okay, 256 thousandths. So we're going to take, and I'm going to, I'm going to paint a little picture here. All right, I want you to think about something here. All right, the the last person that used this silicone did a nice job too. You could see where they squeezed the roll up to really keep this. You up towards the top, top so I really want to thank you for that but when you go to cut anything whether it's a Loctite bottle lid a silicone lid or anything you'll notice here these are on a taper so this one here is actually cut too far in my opinion already do you see that here's a great tip for you if you know you need 56 thousandths just cut down on the taper till you meet that specification to apply the perfect amount of silicone and I'm gonna just apply this per the width of the tube here and see what we end up with does that look fairly consistent, like I didn't put a whole bunch of pressure on it? Yep. Okay, so out of curiosity, let's see what this tube is cut at here. Roughly, roughly around 200 thousandths, okay, from the way it's cut. Just doing math here, that's four times the specification per the manual. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you ask yourself, why is it I take a motor apart and it's got silicone everywhere? Let's go ahead and we're going to use this applicator on the, the factory one here. The other thing is that it doesn't really tell us a height, right? They're saying apply it 56 thousandths. What you'll notice here, I'm just going to take something that has an edge on it here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, push that in place. As you can see why we get so much excess. Make sense? Because it's, it's way beyond the specification. Then if you look at this, you can see where it also went inside as well. Okay, Way too much. What's the whole point of this sealant? To be real specific, isn't it to take out the imperfections between the two pieces of metal? Mm -hmm. That's all that is doing is just filling machine marks. If you have something that's severely gouged, you've got a bigger problem than probably just silicone's going to handle. Because you got to think there's vacuums and pressures underneath these parts too sometimes that could push that sealant out no matter how thick you make it. So that's something to consider. Now let's go ahead and let's try. Would you agree with me that uh, it's going to be hard with this nozzle to get this 56 thousandths one? Yeah. Yep. It's, it's going to be. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and try here. Possible? Yep. Okay, now let's just take this. 
and we'll use this other side here. Trying not to make too big a mess here, but. Okay, it's all the way across, it hasn't gone outside. This is still too much, even though it's 56 thousandths wide, it's really tall, and it's still too much silicone. So let me show you a technique that's worked really well. I learned this from uh, Articat snowmobiles and ATVs at a training seminar years ago. We've had a lot of success with this. Articat, when I took their factory training up at Thief River Falls in Minnesota, they taught me this trick that I, I've used it ever since and I've had just such great uh, luck with it. So we're gonna say that we wanna put these two pieces together and that they, they don't require a gasket. This is just for demonstration only. Harley, Harley uses a gasket on this breather, but this is just to make a point. What I'm gonna prove is the difference between these two sides. So I'm gonna do one side with the bead and the other side with the silicone trick and you'll see what that's gonna look like. I'll just do the bead first. I'm trying very much to just do that, that thin bead. seem kind of consistent to how silicone would be applied yeah. yeah something like that so if you look at it you know from the side here let's see if we could see even like the raised level of it you know we're looking at the height of how tall it is mm -hmm. okay well let me show you how Articat taught us to do it instead of applying it on the piece you're going to take it just put it on your finger and you do this dab technique And basically what one way this was described is you quote unquote, you're just gonna paint it. Well, you see how little I put on my finger first off? Yep. Okay, watch this. And now what I'm trying to do, on this case, I'm trying to be intentional to go outside to not get it inside. You can see I'm gonna have to do a little cleanup right there, aren't I? Yep. Where I went inside. So now my finger, do you see, let's zoom in here and, and see if you can see how thin it's getting. It's all, when I talk about painting, can you see how there's some patches in there where you can barely see it? Yeah. It's a little thin. Well, watch what happens. I go back here and I take this, this area where it's real thick. I come back here, I keep painting. All right, when most people put silicone on, you'll notice here, it's smooth like that. And that's, they're doing that intentionally. Watch what happens when you do Articat's whole trick of the dab. Do you see how it lifts the silicone? Mm -hmm. which increases the real estate. And let's go ahead and do our, our little test here, these two pieces here. This is hard doing this on camera here. So I go ahead and I put this on here. The first thing you notice is the outside of this is pretty clean, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Versus this side, you could see here, it's like my peanut butter and jelly sandwich is squeezing all over. What do you want to bet is going to happen on the inside? Same thing. The same thing. I think so too. Well, let's take a look at it here. Look at. Look at the difference between the dab. Doesn't it almost look just like it was? Yeah. And then on the other one here, you could see where when it's squeezed, do you actually see how it made the middle have blank spots? Mm -hmm. Remember how thick it was right there? Yeah. Yeah. And look at it now. Look, it's actually missing silicone, isn't it? <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you what, it's not going to leak because I've got enough silicone here and enough silicone there. It is going to, it's gonna hold, but back up again. So with these, you know, this is a different way to do it. I love this. I'm gonna tell you, you know, you wanna follow service manual, put your 56 thousandths bead on. Don't have a 56 wide, but have a mile high, uh, and you should be successful in this. But try this out. Now, if anybody wants to put any comments in there where you've went and tried this new technique, you're gonna see that you can use a lot less silicone. You can have a, looking at this now, you guys, we just did the proof. How many people feel really confident about the integrity of that seal? Yeah, absolutely, right. So try it out for yourself. 